Prince Heinrich Wittgenstein was born in 1916 in Denmark to the German aristocratic family of Sein Wittgenstein Sein. He spent the majority of his childhood in Switzerland. Later moving to Germany, he joined Hitler Youth in 1935. In April 1937, Sein Wittgenstein decided on a military career, which was a popular choice among the nobility. He had two brothers, who had also joined the military. Just like another famous fighter ace Manfred von Richthofen or the Red Baron, Heinrich Wittgenstein at first joined the cavalry. He later transferred to Luftwaffe and thus started his career as a bomber pilot. He saw action during Battle of France and the Battle of Britain, and briefly participated in Operation Barbarossa. As the bombing missions by the Royal Air Force shifted to the cover of darkness, the defense of the Reich campaign was initiated. By mid-1940, Germany had established a night air defense system. It consisted of a series of control sectors equipped with radars and searchlights and an associated night fighter. Each sector would direct the night fighter into a visual range with the incoming bombers. In 1941, the Luftwaffe also started equipping night fighters with airborne radars. In August 1941, Sein Wittgenstein volunteered for the night fighter force, as he considered defense duty more honorable. He flew a Junkers 88 plane modified for night operations. Wittgenstein received the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross after scoring 22 aerial victories. He was very enthusiastic about his score and wanted to overtake another night fighter ace, Helmut Lent. By August 1943, Sein Wittgenstein had 54 victories to his record, for which he was awarded oak leaves to his Knight's Cross. He was summoned by Hitler later in 1943 to receive the oak leaves. Wittgenstein was familiar with many members of the German resistance. He was a close friend of Mary Vasilchuk, a Russian princess who emigrated with her family to Berlin. Mary wrote in her diary that Wittgenstein expressed his intentions to kill Hitler several times. She wrote that he was surprised at being allowed to wear his handgun in Hitler's presence when he was awarded the oak leaves to the Knight's Cross. Wittgenstein mentioned to her that it might have been possible to bump him up there and then. He also discussed the possibility of blowing himself up together with Hitler next time they meet. Marie Vasilchikov had a sister, Tatiana, who also mentions Wittgenstein's intentions to kill Hitler. Tatiana recalls Wittgenstein saying, I am not married, I have no children, I am expendable. He will receive me personally, who else among us can ever get as near to him? But Tatiana's version of the story is a bit different, as Tatiana says that Wittgenstein wasn't allowed to have a gun in the presence of Hitler, and that he was outraged by the indignity. Wittgenstein's mother commented that he was boundlessly disillusioned and boundlessly disappointed. In 1943 he contemplated the thought of shooting Hitler, it was only out of sense of honor and duty that Heinrich went on fighting, carried along by the ambition to overtake Major Land in his score of enemy aircraft shot down. A fellow night fighter pilot William Jonan once referred to Wittgenstein as a madman. He was told by the prince's crew that Wittgenstein made his radio operator stand to attention in the plane and confined him to his quarters for three days because the radio operator had lost radar contact with the enemy during a mission. Night fighter pilot Herbert Komritz Recall that Stein Wittgenstein often used his seniority and rank to get the best initial contact with the incoming bombers. If another fighter pilot already engaged the enemy, the prince would announce on the radio, Hier Wittgenstein, geh weg, meaning Wittgenstein here, clear off. Night fighter Wolfgang Falk felt that Wittgenstein was not officer material and described him as not the type to be a leader of a unit, not a teacher, educator or instructor, but as an outstanding personality, magnificent fighter and a great operational pilot. Ultimately, Wittgenstein was killed in action on the night of January 21st, 1944. At the time of his death, he was the most successful night fighter with 83 victories to his name.